chapter 6, verse 10. Daniel chapter 6, verse 10.
Yeah. Shall we die? I don't intend that we all must agree that victory really begins with our mind. Yeah. If you're going to experience and live a life of victory, you got to get your mind here for victory. Yeah. yeah. This is what Daniel demonstrates for us in this sixth chapter of Daniel. That in fact, victory does begin with your mind. It is Daniel demonstrates this during a very mixed emotional time in his life. For it is Daniel who is faced with something that would appear to be impossible. Daniel had to go through, there were many who may even be in this room would have given way to. All right. For in fact, it was Daniel who one who loved the Lord, worshiped and prayed to God consistently, continually, if you will. Yes. This prayer life that Daniel lived was put to the test one day when a decree went out amongst the land that for 30 days nobody ought to pray unless you're praying to the king. Well, Daniel, prayer life was put to, to the test because when Daniel hears this decree, Daniel still decides to go in his room, look out the window towards Jerusalem, and continue to lift his voice in prayer and supplication to God. It's a wonderful expression, if you will, that Daniel demonstrates unto us. Because when he continues to pray in spite of the decree that went out, there were some around who noticed what Daniel was doing. Mm -hmm. With that and told the king that Daniel was still praying, mm -hmm. even though the decree, the decree went out for him not to pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When this came to be, Daniel, you know the narrative, in spite of what the king wanted to do in his heart, still through Daniel in the lion's den. But well, well. Daniel being thrown in the lion's den, a, a door being placed upon the mouth of the den. Wait, wait. Daniel, the next morning, according to the record, was still alive. And Daniel's testimony was that I'm alive. To shut the mouth of the lion. Yeah. Daniel experienced, I was content, its obvious victory on every hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was placed in a, a spot in his life where uh, it would appear as if victory wasn't going to come for him. Yeah. But yet, he still experienced. Yeah. And the question, Brother Colton, is why was he so victorious? Well, well, look at what Daniel does. Text says that Daniel, when he heard about what was coming up the mountain, yeah. right, he began, he began to get himself together yeah. so that he could handle what was coming his way. Yes, sir. He knew that he was on the Lord's side and there was nothing going to deter him from being on the Lord's side. And when he heard that there was something that could possibly shift him and shake his life from being a victorious Christian, All right. he began to prepare himself. Yeah. 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 Chapter 10, the Daniel began to equip his mind for victory. Yes, sir. He began to equip his Spirit for victory. Mm -hmm. He began to equip himself so that in spite of what happens, he would be good. Yeah. yeah. Child of God, as we enter this year of 2019, my I suggest to somebody who's come to New Day worship this afternoon uh, that you've got to learn to prepare yourself for the victory. Yeah. yeah. Some of us think that victory just comes automatically for the child of God. And I will contend that God is a gracious God. Gives to us victory. 
victorious seasons and victorious moments. But there are times in our lives when we've got to equip our mind, our spirit, and our heart to prepare to, to be able to handle what's going to come our way and be able to be victorious in spite of what's going to come our way. Yeah. Look at what Daniel does so that he can prepare himself to be victorious. I read it right there in this 10th verse of this sixth chapter of the gospel, or not the gospel, but yeah, it's Daniel's little gospel. 
Yeah. That was humility that made men angels. Yes, yes sir. In other words, it's humility that will cause you to go higher. That's right. It, it, it is pride that will pull you down and pull you from your high horse. That's right. Child of God, if you ever want to see somebody who's about to fall, you are looking at their pride. If you ever want to see